I'm gonna rager a guess and um, and say that this is where I'll go after I have the diving suit that keeps me from, you know, the whole pressure thing. Okay, so I guess my first task is to turn the power back on. Now, how do I do that? Maybe in this peculiar power, or power plant looking thing. Maybe that has the place to turn on the power. Maybe that way I'll actually be let in through the front entrance, which would be so great. Like, oh my god. Can I climb that? Hey, Simon, you're a smart one. It's not even a ladder, but you climbed it like it was one. Man. You know, this whole robot business really seems to, you know, have made you a lot smarter. We got override. Oh, come on. Manual override. Ugh, okay. Let's do that. Manual override. Warning. Before flushing, make sure to open valves and turn on the pump. Oh, it won't let me. I wanted to see what would happen. But I guess. Yeah. What? Okay, so maybe I have to turn on the pump first. Whoop. Ellie, yup. What? Why's everything locked in here? Huh. Oh. Okay, I have to turn. Okay. Right, then, then I'm gonna, just gonna turn the valve. Boom. And boom. And then pull this. Pressure. Pump. Okay. And that locked me out of this place. And now, flush! Because after every good business, you gotta flush. And that actually flushes this place. And makes my life go all, uh, jaggy. Yep. Okay, so, um... Now? Can I use this now? Oh, but this hatch is now open. I wonder what's inside this. For it to have all the hip jib. It's a dead body. Oh. It's not a dead body, but it doesn't sound very good. Maybe I can turn on the power here. Kathy, obviously this is for you. Hey, Kathy. Catherine? What? Good morning. There you are. Where are we? We're right next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Hmm. Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. Okay. That's it? You got nothing? Good luck. <laughs> I thought you would be useful. Kath, how are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. Not being human. That's not so bad. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. You're making me feel really self-conscious. <laughs> Be serious. I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. This isn't much worse. Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. Would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body, but you're doing a good job. Thanks. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. Whoa. Ow. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Well, you do sound a lot more like the Kathy that I read about in the psychological... Kath. Hip -jib. Why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think we could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. Oh God. When the comet hit the earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. It's restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. Yeah, I don't think so either. The WoW seems pretty whack to me. This from, oh, did I do? Oh no, Catherine, I overloaded it. Are we alive? 
That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. I just figured there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different. But the world sure does. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. Not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. That's an interesting observation. You sound really, you know, not very... You sound very distanced from it all, but I guess that it makes sense. I mean, you did say that you're, you weren't exactly, you know, confident and stuff as a human either. I think I made it. Yeah, I definitely made it. Oh, the terminal just lit up. Yeah, it did. I made something happen without your help. Kathy, isn't there even an, I'm, I'm proud of you? Let's listen to how this guy died. Who is this even? Any idea who this is? Not really. Not that what the heck? Um, something just happened. Okay. Black box status. Donald Julia, offline. Cameron Lisa, offline. Darby Eric, offline. Eames Claudia, offline. Golovsky Adam, offline. Helpful and Jacob, all are offline. Your system updates. Nice. That's a lot of updates. Okay. Not sure what the use of that terminal was, but hey, what's this? Radio buffer. Boober, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. Can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of. So I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. This... must have overloaded his black box. The humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom at Theta. Okay, that's one mystery cleared up. We have here Omicron status quarantined. Oh. So I can override. No. Oh. One, there two, has to be three, a way to cancel four. The have a look around the room. Yeah, obviously that's not quite the right code. What is wrong with the Jaggies? What the heck is the what? Okay, that's that's obviously like some kind of black box. Are you hearing that glitched noise? Yeah, what is that? Um. Good question. Is there a monster in there? Did you do that, Catherine? What? Never mind. There's a monster in there, isn't it? I wonder if it's making my computer go all mushy right now. Oh, six eight six six. Whoa. What? I think I solved, I solved, I solved it. Okay, I gotta check this out. I don't get the feeling that we just got lured into the back of a van. What are you talking about? 6866. Six, six. Okay, I gotta, I gotta check this out. I, I'm probably some antivirus stuff going on in the background, but this is getting really annoying. Also, kind of tears me out of the game somewhat, so uh, hold on a minute. Okay, I hope I fix it. I didn't actually do anything, but, um, you know, sometimes just doing nothing fixes things. Especially when it comes to, you know, technology. Alright then, let's type in this code. 6866 it is. I'm not quite sure whether I should take this from, you know, a, a thing that's... Obviously... Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown cancelled. Something wants us to come inside. Yeah. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. Uh, we want to go inside, and this thing wants us to come inside. I think the main difference is that the thing probably doesn't want us to come back out again. Whether 
I am very keen on coming back out. So... I mean, that's like our only shot at, you know, doing anything. But I'm still allowed to feel a bit bad about this. Like, really. Simon probably put it the best it can be put. Like, something's luring us inside the back of a van. Okay, well, sometimes... Well, no, fuck that. The back of a van is not a desirable place in any circumstance. Okay, do I have to push this button again? No. What am I... How do I get back out? Ugh. Oh, okay. Filling. Yep. Fill. Fill me up, please. The power's back online. That's, that's nice. I wonder if the, uh... Landmine thing show something now. I'm still very, you know, uncomfortable about this whole Omicron thing. <laughs> and I hope that's understandable. Oh well. Let's hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. It should be standard procedure. Hey, did, the, uh, did these things start floating? No, they, they did not. They were always like this. So what do these terminals say now that the power is obviously back? Species, Atlantic herring. Population zero. Diagnostic failed. Okay. Apparently this is like measuring the population of certain marine species. Marine species? Marine, 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 whatever. You know what I mean, I hope, probably. Oh, hey! Can you talk? Hey! Well, you may not be able to talk, but I like you regardless. Have a good one. Hope I won't have to, um, stun you later and kill you. Because we need... Where did you come from? is in quarantine. This is why they didn't answer our call. Hello! Christ, Strasky, it's called a radio. They're not gonna hear you better if you scream. Jonesy, are you okay? Look, I know you're the strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? Jones. Fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break it. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Okay, get in line! Alvaro... There's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. Was he here before? Because I'm not quite sure he was here before. Anyway, let's enter the lair of the beast. That hides in computer systems. Yep. Flush. place wasn't gr oh mechanical malfunction use alternate en entrance what do we have here Macron annex shuttle tunnel okay yeah I'm guessing that's where this place comes in Is this the alternative entrance I mean I, I was there but the power was out Yes, I know. This better be the right way. It, it is the right way, Simon. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Did that happen before? Yeah, that definitely didn't happen before. <laughs> Alright, that seems to be the alternative entrance. Or at least I hope so. What if it isn't? Okay, it is. This is pretty red. Oh, this place can get drained. Flushing? Or it's gonna be another mechanical failure. No, this time it actually works. Or it seems to. 
Swoosh. Okay. I wonder if this is a land of sunshine and lollipops and butterflies and flowers and everything happy. Let's find that suit. And get out. Hey, if I found a suit, that's the right suit, isn't it? It better be. Uh, of course not. Okay, this doesn't look very uh nice. This looks like the wow. And there are a lot of dead bodies in here. Better work out. I'm strong. I'm a robot. I don't need... Whoa. Whoa. Something blew their minds. Okay. Um, uh, uh, obviously, um, their black box is kind of bust. So I don't know what killed them and, uh, smashed their heads. But I guess that's fine. Dive room. Um. It's it's all right, Simon. We're in no danger. That's a bloody lie. But still, I don't think we are in danger. Still a bloody lie. What is this? High security area. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do I need to stop? What? What the heck? What do I need to stop? Your face? I'd love to stop your face. Global lockdown console. Override a dive room console. We have to stop it. Oh, man. What's it? And how do I stop it? Oh man, this place is... This place is just all kinds of horrible. Medical bay. Let's see what we got here. Um, this looks trustworthy. Yeah, nothing here. It's another slideshow. Isn't this where Acres Guy was? I don't know. No, Acres Guy, or what was left of him, was very clearly in uh, Theta. Is that a pistol? No, it's a boot. Almost the same thing. Only one, with one you shoot, and the other's a boot. Ah, ha, ah, 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 ah. That's an eerily long hallway. If that door doesn't open, then I'm just gonna, you know, leave. There's no way I'm turning around. Okay, thank you very much for opening. You know, just when I thought that you were cool and shit, you decide to pull this kind of stuff on me. You know, this is why I have trust issues. This exact kind of bullcrap. Well, I'm first gonna, you know, scour through the contents of this tablet. Power suits tested and ready. Omicron scans are in the arc. Catherine confirms. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Ivishkin confirms. Climber calibrated for weight. Allen confirms. Crane operator at ready. Allen confirms. Omicron standing by for pickup in two days. Eames confirms. Okay, so apparently they at least got somewhere with this whole arc thing. What do we got here? Okay, it's just the power suit uh, in in instructions. We already saw those. Hey! So, is, hey, that's Kathy on the left. Hey, those are all the people of the arc project. Good job, guys. It's not your fault everything went to shit. 
Although somehow it probably is. Kathy, help me out here. What are we? What are we here? Uh, is this Omicron? Everything is so basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Omnitool falling apart. I don't think so. Okay, we need to find you a power suit. You know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda? Yeah. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send really? me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Yeah. Is that actually gonna be me? Or is it gonna be, you know, a copy of me? That's the chair, alright. That's the exact same chair. Like... Are they gonna scan me and then put me into the... What? Reminder, check your air supply and systems. Okay, I'm gonna need my Omni tool here. Okay. Yeah, D looks kinda open. Simon, look for a suit in the locker. Yes, I'm on it. Jesus, do you have to be so pushy? What did that do? Did that do anything? I don't think so. That's a suit, alright. None in here, none in there, none in there. Yeah, I guess that's what all those red things mean, but that's definitely a suit. Well. Oh my oh. god. Uh. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body uh. we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby, see if you can boot it up. Are you for sure? Are you for real? I mean, oh, God. What? Oh, man, I don't know if that's, like, the thing we should be doing, honestly. Oh well. High pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 degrees Celsius to minus 75 degrees Celsius. I believe that I don't give a shit in Fahrenheit. Uh, while keeping a steady 40 degrees Celsius default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal 1 ATM up to a depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. HPS usage. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that locks the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal and thus the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as default the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. HPS tracking. Oh. Okay. So there's two of them at the Clamber Station. That's nice, I guess. What the are you pod? doing? We pod. need to get the suit activated. Chun, I'm on it. D. There, go on. Error found with suit. Not exactly great A material. Don't write it off course. just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel, powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. <laughs> I feel. Yes, you're right. I feel. What about the lucky? 
What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Okay, this ain't gonna work. Right, so I obviously need to find some of the... Oh! That door just opened again. That's nice. Okay, what do we need? A Cortex chip and some structure gel and something else. Okay. I think I should be able to find that.